Okay, we're back at it. We had the head totally skinned out. Now we're going to skin the body. Start from the keel bone right on top of the breast. You can push away the feathers. There's usually um, a track of skin right in the middle, right on the keel bone that is featherless. And that would be your best spot to uh, create your incision. You can wet the feathers out, push them aside to clear your view. Once we got that, we'll start the incision. I'm still trying to find a perfect path for my knife or my for my blade so I don't cut through the feathers. Okay, I pretty much found where I'm going to go. I mean, when you cut one or two feathers, it's not that big of a deal, but it's best not to. Okay, our uh, pheasant skin is actually um, is not terribly glued on the body, like some of the other birds that I've done, especially when it comes to eagles. Oh God, they're they're really glued to the body. Pheasant, I usually push my finger between the skin and, and the body and I peel it off. And first where I go for, I just make some room around the breast, make sure that you know there's no extra tension on the skin. And then, as you've seen on the other videos, I start pushing the knee right inside so I can push my finger underneath it. Once I get my finger right underneath the thigh bone, right in the knee area, right there. I'm, I, I'm sure that I'm not going to cut the skin. Then right from the bend, I use my knife and cut the drumstick and separate it from the thigh bone. And do the same thing on the other side. Usually start with the legs, move on to the tail, and then the wings. So basically we skin the birds from bottom of the body toward the, um, toward the head and neck. Moving the skinning toward the rectum. Well, we got to do the other leg first. Yeah, so if you skin your bird a little bit around at the same uh, speed, at the same rate that you're skinning it, it helps you not to put a lot of tension on the bird's skin so you don't rip it. If you start skinning from one corner trying to proceed to finish the whole job from that corner, chances are that you're going to put a lot of tension on the skin because the skin is not loose and is not, you know, stretchy enough from that corner. So now I have this leg as well um, under control. So we push the knife underneath the knee, bring it up, and separate the drumstick. And I like to pull it back into the skin so it's out of my way, and I keep skinning the thigh toward back of the bird. Just a combination of using the scalpel or pushing my finger underneath the skin and uh, I try to I try to kind of like you know skin the whole thing without making any cut or hole in it. So now we're getting close to the rectum. We slowly cut around it with scalpel and create like leave that rectum hole like in intact make sure that it doesn't rip open till we pass that and then we get into the feather I'm sorry yeah, into the uh, tailbone the tailbone is looking like a V right pointed out in the center which is the deck feathers and goes upward forms a V for the side tail feathers so we create that cut again and make sure I usually like to use a pair of needle nose plier to grab that rudder bone you can see it better here 
to grab uh, grab the rudder bone and then with a little bit of a twist you can break it sorry um, it's pretty tough to keep the zoomed in subject in the small frame here so now here is the side cutter sometimes I use side cutter sometimes I use needle nose I grab that rudder bone and with a little bit of a twist I separate it from the whole tail and if there is a little bit of meat left in there it's not a big deal we're gonna come back at it later so we have successfully skinned all the way to the toward the end of the body now we're continuing peeling the skin off toward the wings and upper part of the body those exercises that we did to soften up the bird is gonna come in handy here when you're twisting and turning the uh, bird body around so the same way that I push my finger underneath the knee to make sure that the skin is totally separated from the body I do the same thing here with uh, the shoulder bone or the, the first part of the wing bone First wing is cut. Now we proceed to the other side. Second wing. As you can see, this bird has been shot pretty good. There's a lot of shot holes in it. The, the crop skin stays on the neck so here we go the whole body is out we give it the proper shape and freeze it for future reference spray around the skin a little bit make sure that uh, wet feathers are staying out of the way so what I'm going to do here um, I'm just going to get it ready for wire wheel for the uh, fleshing part because right after this video there's going to be um, another skinning video coming up which is uh, for duck skinning and in I, I thought it would be a lot better to show how to use the wire wheel on a waterfowl because it's just much more fat in there and uh, basically is uh, a lot more difficult than pheasant so I didn't really film the fleshing part of for this pheasant which is pretty much the same way as you would see in uh, what I'm doing in the duck video anyway skinning the drumstick right now using my favorite tool to keep peeling the skin back toward the heel or the next bend on the leg Got to be very careful here because uh, the heel skin around um, the skin around the heel of the pheasants is pretty tight, and if you're not careful, you can easily make a hole in the skin. Cut the tendons off with your knife. That gives you a great start to pull off the skin, uh, pull off the meat off the bone. actually and they they uh, you can't cut them with a knife you gotta use a side cutter I usually like to as I said you know cut all the tendons and 
grab them and pull the whole meat off the bone just like that and cut that side little thorn that is sticking out of the drumstick bone and cut that off too. Clean off with scraping it with the uh, knife. Clean off all the little pieces of meat as much as you can. Now we proceed to the second leg the same way. You can put a little bit of borax on it to give yourself a better grip. It can be quite slippery sometimes. This pheasant is supposed to be um, mounted in a flying position with a couple of foxes chasing him. As you feel that the skin is glued onto the meat really good and if you're uh, planning to peel it off with your fingers if it's not if it's not moving don't try too hard just give it a good start with a scalpel and then keep peeling with your fingers because if it's uh, some areas especially under the wing some areas like right now they are they're glued on pretty good so and if you put a lot of pressure and pull the skin off you can easily rip the skin. So this bird was pretty badly shot in one wing. Um, like and it smashed all the bones and whatnot. So we got some repairs to do on that wing. Yeah, as you can see, my uh, first wing bone was totally smashed and it's totally gone. Yeah, but the wing from outside is in good shape.
So when I'm、uh, cleaning the meat off the wing bones, I really like to get rid of that ball at the end of the bone because it just creates problem when we're mounting it. Try to make the bone basically、uh, going straight out without、uh, without that ball. Shape around at the end of it. Just remove it. This is the good wing that is not shot, so we're going underneath the wing and making our incision, trying to empty the wing right from underneath it. So this gives you the benefit of having all your wing feathers attached to the bones, and they will stay in the proper position. When you're emptying the meat on any bird off of the wing, just like this, when you're cutting it from underneath the wing, you just gotta make sure that you have removed every pieces of meat from there, because some of them, in this method, can hide on the other on, underneath the bones while you're scraping them off. And if you if you leave or if you miss any piece of meat underneath there, then Get our interview issues later. Just gotta make sure that it's totally clean. Take your time, inspect everywhere, make sure that there is no meat left. To do my best to pull out the meat in one piece, although I fail many times and it comes out in pieces, it just makes it a lot easier. And、uh, when you when you cut the tendons from one end and then you pull out the whole wing muscle or wing meat in in one bigger piece rather than、uh, pieces, small pieces. 
Although you can always leave some little pieces, you know, that are hiding in here and there, especially underneath the bones. So you're still gonna pull them out, but um, the the, uh, the bigger the piece that you can pull out, the easier it will be. on the tail. Love to use my side cutter to cut off all the meat. Now we're going to roughly flesh the skin and get it ready for the wire wheel. I didn't film the wire wheeling area or section because I left it for that duck video as I mentioned. So I'm just removing the bigger piece of fat and membrane that are um, sticking out uh, right from the surface of the skin to make it easier for wire wheel. Okay, well this would be pretty much it for this video um, soon enough in a couple of days hopefully I'll um, try to put up that uh, duck skinning video and then you'll uh, you will see how the fleshing on wire will happens okay thanks for watching and we'll see you shortly